Hi everyone, this is Brandy Exploring Expressions. And I had a question on one of my videos that Joshua did about his homeschool asking for kind of a close up or more detailed look at the schedule itself. Um, in the previous video, we talked about the curriculum and what he's doing. So I thought I'd get on here and just do a short video about how his actual schedule is organized for this year. Now, um, because I'm a single parent and I work away from the home, part of his homeschool he actually does, well, a lot of his homeschool he does on his own. So it's very important for him to have, um, for him to have something complicated, not complicated, something simple to look at and be able to follow. So let's look. This is his homeschool binder. Everything he needs to refer to is inside this binder. So what I do over here, I put all of the worksheets and things he's gonna have to do for each week. I just set here. And usually at the beginning of the week, I fill this with pencils. It does not last very long. So this first section, this is his schedule. And you see this was week one. And we're actually gonna go through, I think week two and show you more, yeah. Uh, Let's go through week three. <laughs> Cause it's not, week one and two, he's already been working on, so they're all highlighted and worked on. Because what he does is as he completes something, he highlights it. That's how I know it's been done. And so when I go back and I look at it, first thing I do is I look to see if it's been highlighted. And then if it has, then I can go back and check against the actual work. So, what I give him is not so much a schedule as a checklist. So, each week he has one of these. There are, let's see if I can get a little closer, okay. There are five days in a week. Thank you, Josh. Mm -hmm. um, but both of my children that are homeschooled understand that homeschool can drag on seven days a week if you don't get your work done. What I tell them is, this is the amount of work you have to do this week, right there. If you power through this and get it done in four days, well, you know, good, good for you, good for you. If you slack off and don't do it because, you know, like I said, I can't stand over them the whole time. Um, or I can't stand over Joshua. Obviously, Daniel is only in first grade, so, I actually have to sit with him the whole time. But for Joshua, he completes most of this on his own. So what he has, I recommend he does it in order. He can go ahead and point some. I recommend that he does it in order. That doesn't always happen. How often do you figure you do this in order? Not that often. There you go. <laughs> there you go. So, each subject is broken down not just in the general subject but in each specific like book or each specific resource that he's going to be using. For example, history is broken down into the mystery of history, that's his main history text, then supplemental reading, above it, oh, Supp above it one more time, oh. there you go, supplemental reading, fiction reading, that's our crossover between um, history and literature because we're doing historical fiction this year and then yeah that's all his history work so he can do this in a large history chunk if he wants to or he can do it interspersed throughout you know English and grammar and writing why do I do it this way well um, I don't know if I've mentioned before, I think I probably have, that um, Joshua has autism as well as ADHD oh and God, it's very hard for him to sit through a long unit. That's part of what made public school so grueling for him is he just, he just couldn't sit there for an hour. So with the exception of his movie, we call this one Lunch in a Movie. These movies are much longer, but they're designed to be something he watches while he eats his lunch. 
Um, but with, with the exception of those, most of these things are very short. You notice in his um, fiction reading, he only has 15 pages a day. That's not that much. He reads that, he puts it down, he goes to something else. You know, he'll read his supplemental reading, he'll put it down, he'll go to something else. Oftentimes, he'll take, you know, a couple minute break between each thing. So every, what would you say, how long? 15 minutes to do one single subject? Yeah. It depends on the subject. Yeah, every 15 minutes or so, he's getting up and he's taking a break. So, even with all that, this whole thing, which, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, mm -hmm. fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen different subjects here. Really only takes him with the, with the exception of the lunch and a movie. Three hours? Three to four. Three to four hours. Which is a very reasonable time. That still gives him plenty of time to do the extracurricular activities. With that said, okay, so this is his schedule. Each day he goes and he goes down this and he checks it off as he gets done. The things in red are specific deliverables because this is attached to mom buck. So each one of each block is a mom buck. But when you see the red ones, those are deliverables that are extra and that are graded separately. Our post video, weekly wrap up videos. And those when he does his note cards. This, this section is all of his instructions on how to do stuff. Um, he's got a daily daily work that he does. That's in this back section. And all his words that 100. he... All his words that he chooses to define has to come off this daily word list. This is taken from the um, SAT or ACT word list. So that's what that is. But I've made all of his large deliverables have rubrics. So he can go in here and he can look on his own and see, you know, from his schedule, exactly how much time, how much time is this going to take me? What do I need to plan for this? He can go to that rubric and find out exactly what it is. So a lot of the rest of what he's doing is covered in the video that he made. Um, I just want, I just kind of wanted to show you how he structures his day. And usually, I'm not, he's not an early riser. I'm just going to say that. Um, so usually, he, I try to make sure that he starts his homeschool about 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, and he stops for a break for his lunch and a movie around noon. And he's usually done about uh, 3. Yeah. You know, 3-ish. We haven't yet had to work on a weekend. So fingers crossed that continues. But if you have any questions, let me know. And if you like this video, you know, click like and subscribe. And we can't wait to show you what else we're doing this year. Bye.